Election officials count the ballots cast while party representatives watch closely. It's a process that's going on across the country, with Ivorians anxiously waiting for the results. As they voted, there were concerns about the outcome. So this does not become like the past elections that were followed by violence. This time we want it to be a peaceful election so that there are no victims among the population. After casting his ballot, President Alassane Ouattara reassures a worried nation. I see that there is no tension in the air. I have just spoken to the Minister of the Interior. He tells me that things are going well everywhere and I hope that the day ends well, as well as the count. Good luck to all the candidates. The Election Commission says it hopes to announce winners in 24 hours. Election officials say voting went well across much of the country, although they said voting started late in some areas because of voter machines malfunctioning. There are also some skirmishes in a few places, but officials say not enough to mar the vote. Opposition leaders who boycotted last December's presidential polls are warning against irregularities. I would like to take this opportunity to appeal to the Independent Electoral Commission to ensure that this whole process takes place peacefully and that there's no cheating. Observers say the turnout was low and that could work against some candidates. The governing party aims to win 148 seats in parliament, enough for a working majority. The opposition want to stop that from happening. Having stayed away from the presidential election in December, analysts here say the opposition may struggle to reassert itself. But for Ivorians, the primary concern is an election that doesn't get mirrored in violence. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Abidjan.